Hey everybody, it's Julie, and I want to share with you today a haul that I did. Um, it's like a collective haul over the past week or so. And I did some thrift store shopping yesterday and a little more today, and I'll show you what I picked up. And then um, I have a couple Blitzy orders and something from Hobby Lobby to share with you. Now, I went to my thrift store last week and picked up some music paper and a couple other little things that they had. And um, I went back today because I wanted to see if they had any more of the books for the music, and they did. And I picked up a couple other things. I got this really pretty crocheted heart doily. Um, it's handmade, and it's just gorgeous, if you can see that. It's so pretty. I love it. Um, I don't know that it's vintage, and it has a little bit of staining right here, but that's okay because, um, you know, we'll, you know, if I use this on a project, I'll just cover that part up. No big deal. And then um, my thrift stores never, ever have those big bags of junk jewelry like people come up with, you know, that they're always sharing Stephanie. <laughs> uh, but... Um, so today, or yesterday when I went there, they had this little bitty bag of um, junk jewelry, and I picked it up. It was only a dollar, and it has some cute stuff in it. Um, they had another one, but it didn't really have anything in it that I would use, so I left it there for someone else. So, um, yeah, so I picked that up. And then I got these two little magazines. They're both work basket ones, and they're pretty ratty on the outside, but the inside papers are really nice, and they have all these really cool vintage ads and patterns in there. And um, I'm going to put together some um, vintage ephemera kits, I think, to sell. And it'll have some of these pages and then also some tea dyed items, some vintage lace and trims and some seam binding maybe and some doilies. And then also, um, you know, some of the papers from this book. And I have a few other books like this, too, that I picked up a couple years ago um, that are probably right around the same age. I think these were in the... 40s or 50s maybe I'm not sure no these are 60s these were in the 60s and I think the ones that I the other ones that I have were in the 40s maybe so um yeah so I'll be doing that and then um I picked up this big book of music and this is from 1937 I believe so it's pretty cool it's even got some handwritten um music in here so I thought that was kind of cool and uh yeah and I like it and it has some handwritten you know people have handwritten in it as well so I liked that, and then I also got this one, and this one is Waltz Time for the Hammond Organ, and I'm not sure that this one had a date in it. Not sure that it did. It's got like, um, you know, the num Roman numerals, but I can't remember what MCMXXX means. That might be 1930, um, something like that. You know, I'm sure it wasn't printed in 1930, but that's when this one was copyrighted. So I would say that this is probably from the 50s or the 60s. And then here's another one here, again, probably from the 50s or the 60s. Okay, and then today I went to um, a thrift store in a neighboring town. And they this is um, one of the places where I had gotten a great lace haul like about a year ago. And they had some lace today, and I picked up pretty much everything that they had. Um, it, not nearly as much as what they've had in the past, but I hadn't been there in a long, long time. So I, uh, even the ladies in there were like, we haven't seen you in forever. And, uh, so I hadn't, I just hadn't been over that way for a long time, but I did pick up some, what they had of lace today. Um, this is some vintage lace and I plan on tea dyeing this cause it's already like a cream color and it's kind of like that itchy lace. It's a little bit itchy, but I do love the, um, pattern on it. So, and there is a ton here. There's probably a good, I would say probably close to 10 yards. Uh, and this is going to be some of the lace. This lace that you see here will be some of the lace that goes into the vintage ephemera kits that I'm going to put together. And then I got this one here. And this one had several different kinds of lace in it. Uh, different, and there wasn't as much, you know, not as much on the little rolls. But this is really pretty. I like that one a lot. And then there was some of this cream lace, and this I thought was super duper pretty. And it doesn't say how much. This must have came from somebody's garage sale or something, because it has 20 cents written on it. But I think I paid I paid $1.50 for the whole bag. Sorry. Let's see. You can see that lace there. It's really pretty. I like that one a lot, too. And then there's this one here. This one's also very pretty. And then there's a white one. And this, this lace is really soft. It's not at all itchy like that other stuff, but that one's pretty too. And then this one here. There's quite a bit of lace in this bag, more than what I thought was in here. 
even a little bit of peach. A little bit of peach lace there, really pretty. This one has three different kinds plus a little bit of eyelet lace there. So there's quite a bit, and then there's this um, nice thicker, um, like a thicker ribbon, this, or not ribbon, lace. This is a really pretty, like a ecru color. It's got nice flowers on it, really pretty, and there's quite a bit of that there too. Let's see, I dropped one. And then there was this one, this was 50 cents, and it's just a bunch of uh, eyelet lace in uh, cream color, which I love eyelet lace, so, so pretty, love it. Love it, love it. And there's probably maybe three yards. And then I like yellow. Yellow I never used to like, but my entire um, like studio is yellow. Like a buttery color yellow, I guess it is. But I really like this yellow. It's super pretty. This is like a, a like kind of like a seam binding lace here. And then there's some other kind of lace that looks like on the inside. Or maybe it's just new or, you know, just because this was on the outside. But this is a really pretty roll of lace and then there's I never really ever hardly ever see colored eyelet lace and there's this gorgeous yellow um, eyelet lace in yellow and then there's this one here which is just a nice little ruffled um, trim and then this I love this look at how pretty that is love this lace and then there's a thinner eyelet lace in the yellow too so I thought that was really cool so I got that and then this bag was $1.50 as well and there is quite a bit in here too this one's really pretty this is a newer lace this definitely is not vintage but that's okay quite a bit of it here we can turn it into vintage we can make it look vintage anyway um, this one is really pretty too so there's just there was a ton of lace and I you know I'm thankful that they had it because a lot of times when I go in there and you know they just they don't have stuff like that anymore. Then I picked up this ledger book. Um, I can't remember who was telling us that if you found these ledger books to pick them up and this is brand and not brand new but um, it's never been used and I love how it has like the stamped numbers in the top there. It's really cool. Um, I don't know when this one was made but it has 72 pages and it's called the standard blank book and I like it because it's the ledger the ledger pages. It's really cool. So I don't know if what I'm going to do with it, but I will figure it out. I think what I'm going to, I know a couple of these pages will go in with the kits um, because these are just really cool. Really cool for journaling or really cool as like a background page. So that's pretty nifty. So, oh, I know it was the girl who took, um, she does like the eBay um, yard sale hauls too. God, what is her? YouTube. Something, Paper Castle something paper castle and um, she had done a class and they had used the ledger books um, as like their art journal oh, very very cool and then I picked these up I don't know what I'm going to do with them but they were only a quarter a piece and they're the iron on glow in the dark heat transfer um, things but they're brand new they're still in their package so I'm sure that they're worth more than a quarter so I might try and sell them on top header I don't know we'll see and then I also got this little package of seam binding because I sold a lot of my seam, my vintage seam binding, so I don't have a ton, ton left. Uh, so I picked some up. There was a one inch wide, and you never, ever, hardly ever see the one inch seam binding. Uh, so I picked that up. That was one inch, and that was in white. And then there's some light blue um, seam binding lace. And then there's some um, dark blue lay or seam binding, and then some like royal blue lace, and then some white in the rickrack. And then they had this cute little box, and I'm going to use it to store um, probably things like this, you know, like packages of um, embellishments. I'm probably going to use it to store things like this so I can just kind of flip through it. And I have that already in something like that, but I did, I like the shabbiness of this white box because it's kind of chippy. So I got that, and I'm just going to throw all this lace in here for now, and um, I'll sort through that later. And then, um, okay, so then I got, had two orders from Blitzy come in, and they're not very big. I just picked up this die from, I think it was from Monday, maybe. They had the Sizzix Sizzlet dies, and I just love this edge. It looks kind of like a doily edge to me. So I picked that up, and it's called the um, Sizzlet's Decorative Strip, and it says Vintage Lace Edging. So I thought that was really cool. So I got that. 
and then they had tape this week too. Again, I have, I now have like enough of this to last me probably forever, but I picked up a couple more because they're so cheap. So I wanted to get that. And then they still have this, if you guys are interested in it, because this is a great deal for this paper, by the way, 39 cents a page. And it's the Tim Holtz Distress Collection paper. And I do have more of this coming in, but in just for this order here, I got the um, yellow, which I can't remember what color this is. Um, mustard, I think, or something like that. Mustard, something, mustard. So I got the mustard, and then I only got, I thought I ordered five of these, but I only got one for some reason, and I did check on my order, and it says one. But this is the, um, oh, heck. Let me think here. Not milled lavender. It's the one that's darker than milled lavender. Um, Dusty Concord. Uh, so I picked that one up and then this one is the tumbled glass and I love 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 this teal color in the paper So I ended up getting ten sheets of it because I didn't want to run out and um, I make some Tiffany blue tags that are almost exactly this color for uh, Weddings and things like that So I thought that this would be a good supplement to that color as well And I love the texture on this paper and I love that it's solid core So if you're making a punch out or something like that, you don't have that white edge I like that a lot and then they also when they when they shipped it they put it between two pieces of chipboard so I got two free pieces of chipboard which is awesome and then they had seven gypsies paper this week too so I picked some of that up and I love the like typography look like this so um, I got several of them I got two pieces of each of the ones that I really liked and I liked this black one it's called black friars and they're double-sided and I really like that love the number typography and then this one has flowers on it, and this one's called Finsbury. And, you know, they're the black on the one side and then the white background on the other. Love this one. Love this diamond. Um, this one's called Piccadilly. And then on the back it has the stripe with a little bit of purple at the bottom, so I thought that was cool. And then this one, again, is like a subway sign. This one's called Waterloo. It's black on the front and then has the white background on the back. So I got two of those too. So that's all I picked up from Blitzy. And Blitzy also, if you're interested, and I did pick some of these up, but they haven't come in yet. They have LeBlanc stamps again. And I passed over them the last time they had them, and I was not going to do it this time because they have some gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous stamps. And if you're into like the vintagey look, oh my God, they're perfect. And again, they sent that with a piece of chipboard. So I actually got three pieces of chipboard free. Um, check it out because uh they have they're gorgeous absolutely gorgeous stamps okay so now i went to um oh i went to joanne's but i only got paper <laughs> there and i don't think i got anything else let me think i can't remember so then i went to hobby lobby and hobby lobby has marked down their clearance again so if you have a hobby lobby by you i strongly suggest to you that you go there and uh, you check out everything they have on clearance because they have marked it down again. And this is as low as I've seen their, a lot of their clearance stuff go. So just keep that in mind so that you can go check it out. Gosh, I wish I could remember what else I got from Joann's. That is going to bother me all day long. It, oh, I know. No, never mind. It was just some twine. I had picked up some twine for some tags that I was doing. God. <laughs> I thought I was losing my mind there for a minute. Okay, so last week when I went there a couple weeks ago or whatever, the letterpress things that I showed you, I shared with you how to use on your Sizzix, um, they had like five or six different kinds. Today when I go back to get more, they only had two. So, eh, whatever. I picked up this one, and it has the um, kind of bracket-shaped front, and then it has all of these little bracket dies, and then this border as well. And it has, this is the thank you one. It has thank you, thanks, thank you, and thanks in smaller, like bigger and smaller type. And then this one has a, like a floral kind of um, motif background. And then it has all of these flowers. And then it also has the for you and thanks and thinking of you. So, and I like that, that I like this thanks. So I picked those up and they were on sale for $3.59. And last week they were $5.70 something. So, um... If you're going to pick these up to use them on your Sizzix, you should go now because they're probably going to be gone soon. Um, then they had their ink, and I want to try it out. I, was, I wasn't going to buy a lot. I only got this one. I wanted to try it out because it was only $2.51. 
and this ink is regularly $6.99, so I wanted to check it out. And then they had these paper packs. This one was $15.99, marked down to $5.75. So I got two paper packs that I didn't have and I had been looking at and wanting to buy but never bought. Um, this is the Crate Paper Restoration, and it has all of these papers in it here. And I like the vintage look. I like that it's vintage looking, but it's still, it's still colorful. I like that a lot. And it comes with um, stickers and, let's see, it comes with 16 double-sided texture papers, designer die cuts, title stickers, um, journal stickers, and border stickers. So you get all of those stickers and then also these and like these other ones here too. So I thought that was a great deal, $5.75 for all that paper. And then I don't have, I cannot believe that I never picked this, this paper collection up. But um, this was the last one that they had. And I know that they hadn't had this for very long. Again, because they were sold out of it for a while. But it was $18.99 regularly. And I got it for $6.83. And this is the Bow Bunny Gabrielle. And this paper is gorgeous. And you guys have all seen this already. But you get um, quite a bit in here. You get 18 double-sided sheets of designer paper. And then you get journaling card paper. Um, and one sheet of coordinating cardstock stickers. So you get the 12 by 12 sheet of cardstock stickers and then you get the journaling um, card paper and then 18 of the double-sided papers. So gorgeous. So happy to get that, um, especially for that price, $6.83. Oh yeah. So definitely if you haven't gone to your Hobby Lively lately, go check it out because their paper is like really getting super cheap. And the only Graphic 45 that mine had left was the Playground one and it was also marked down to $6.83. So for the 12 um, by 12 pack. I forgot to add that I also picked up some Copics. These were um, kind of like this is with some birthday money that I had. I got four markers with some birthday money that I had. But I had seen a video, and I know that I'm pretty sure she subscribes to me, and I know that I subscribed to her, but I think it was Two Tiny Treasures. I think that's her um, YouTube name. But she had made a really cool hair color combination using the orange colors. And I know that she used like YR04 maybe, I think, and then YR18 and E09. So I got, I had the YR04 already, but I didn't have the YR18 and the E09. So I picked those two up. And then she had like a, um, a skin combination uh, that used R00, and I didn't have that one. And I didn't have R20 either, which is amazing because I thought I had that one, but I didn't. So, yeah, so I picked these four up, and these were like a little birthday present to me. So, all right, everybody, have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.